Working with reusable elements in your Bubble app can be a little tricky when it comes to sending data in and out of the reusable itself. A really common use case for this is using a reusable for a header, which may have a navigation system inside of it. So oftentimes you may need to access, uh, you know, for example, a page that you've selected or a menu item that you've selected both inside of the reusable to change visual properties, but also outside of the reusable to maybe show or hide certain designs on a specific page. So how do you accomplish this? Well, one way is to leverage custom states. But very, very important, the custom state should live on the reusable element itself. Okay, you do need to set this up within the reusable editor, but make sure it goes onto the most parent item of that element. It's the reusable itself, right? You don't want to put it on any of the inner elements that you've added to the reusable. Um, by placing the custom state on the reusable itself, you have access to that value and can even change that value both inside the reusable and also from anything outside of the reusable. So from any elements on a page that also contains the, the an instance of the reusable. It's not very obvious, but make sure that that's where your custom state lives so that you can pass information freely um, inside and out.